you know, I, I think I think we've had too many presidents who who uh, didn't serve or didn't serve in the, didn't serve at all in the military or didn't serve during, in, in in wars who were too eager to go to war and uh, who wanted to prove that they were great statesmen and so forth. And, uh, did you lose out on any committee assignments because of this vote? Some people think that, yes, probably. I, I, so what happened? Well, I, didn't, I, I, don't, I don't think that I, uh, I lost out just because of that vote. What, what happened, I, 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 I never got in any trouble with the leadership my first six years when we were in the minority. And in fact, uh, 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 it, after the 94 election, we had 10 openings on the Ways and Means Committee, which was the most ever. And Newt Gingrich was, was, uh, was uh, willing or was gonna give me one of those uh, 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 seats, which, which, is, which is kind of what I thought I might do, because that's where my dad had been. Wow. But uh, uh, I, went to, I went to him to talk to him about it, and he said, you've been a good mem member, you deserve it. And so, but, but then at that same time, I found out that I, that I was gonna get to chair the aviation subcommittee, because I wasn't in any trouble at that point with the leadership. On my own, I decided that, uh, that uh, because my dad had been there 23 and a half years, and I always had been in the minority, never got to chair anything, and I was going to get to chair the Aviation Subcommittee, which I really enjoyed. So I, I turned down the Ways and Means Committee and, and chaired the Aviation Subcommittee. And I thought, too, I thought, well, if I stay where I am, I may have a chance to be chairman of the Transportation Committee at some point. Because Newt Gingrich started a system of, of giving chairmanships if you voted with the leadership on the key votes and you, uh, uh, and you would uh, raise a lot of money for the uh, uh, for the party. Well, that got me in two areas because I have this uh, uh, this contrary independent East Tennessee streak in me, and I didn't want to turn my voting card over to anybody. And so that hurt me with the uh, leadership. Uh, and then also. People are shocked when I tell them that I have never once made a fundraising call, not one time in all, all my 30 years. Now, I, we've sent out invitations, and I've had fundraisers, and uh, uh, but I've never, I just found it distasteful to uh, uh, ask people, myself, for money, and so I never did do that. Uh, but I got along real well personally with almost everybody, so I found out that I could still get things done without some big time. So it didn't. It, it, so it didn't really uh, bother me. I valued my independence. I valued my ability to vote the way I wanted to vote. Well, I got I, I got in trouble. They started threatening to take away a, a lot of chairmanships and stuff. One time, uh, there were tw there were twenty three of us who voted against a, a fifty billion dollar uh, bailout of the uh, uh, of the Mexican government. At one time that I voted against when uh, Newt Gingrich was pushing it real hard. Then Tom DeLay came to me on some kind of appropriations bill one time and he said, uh, he told me, he said, these are Republican bills now because Republicans were in control. I said, yes, Tom, but you're spending more than the Democrats were spending. And, and we disappointed our base in those years and that led to the formation of the Tea Party. We disappointed our base by, by continually increasing spending and running up our deficits and our debts, um, and I didn't. I, w I didn't vote for a lot of that.